all right so what's up everybody it is saturday morning i got two punks with me today since the bearded picker is up in uh the northeast so we got a lot of community sales to hit today so let's see what we can find today Yeah, that's pretty cool. How much is that? Well, for you, it's should, free again. Should I ask or should you ask, you ask how much that you is? For me, it's probably 50 cents. For you, it's probably about four bucks. That's collectible. So she's going to say, <laughs> so yes. say $3.75. They're not negotiable. So they're just that. free. No. Oh, okay. There's no price on it. Oh, there's not a price yeah, on no. it. Six dollars. Six bucks, that's you. <laughs> oh, she's took me for all I brought. Yeah, you guys for the other sales, I know. <coughs> How much is all your doorknobs? How much is what? Five dollars for all I'm going to have to get that. I just changed mine too. That's pretty um, cool. Man, y'all are beating her up. Y'all feel bad about that. There must be at least, and it's all there. I mean, there must be at least probably 12 doors. It's heavy. Are you looking at her butt? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so here's your yard sale tip for the day. Always have fun, interact with the people, because as I was leaving, she called me back and gave me free stuff because we were fun and fun to talk to, she said. she was 60 and she thought you were hot. <laughs> Do I need to edit that out? Some, look at there, Kevin, look. There's some trash. Look. Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> There's all the secrets to the universe. Check this out. That is you. Should we buy this for a dollar? It looks vintage. The answer is C. C. It does look vintage. Will you wear it? Uh, the answer to that is no. Secrets to the universe. You have all the secrets to the universe for five bucks. <clears throat> That's old too. So we're digging oh, through. Right. We're yeah. digging yeah. through here, yeah. and my Astros got squashed last night. What so you gonna do if we just to... take the box? <clears throat> Give me fifteen for the box. Oh, some of these are teeny tiny. Mm, get closer, no, they're big. That's a pretty big car. Yeah. <clears throat> I gotta document this. This is going on YouTube right here. My brother just purchased his very first Alabama tricycle. Look at that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn how to ride it later today. Swapping over slowly, even though he went to Auburn. I wore eagle. <laughs> there you go. Folks, this is history in the making right here. Amazing. Money's money, my friend. <laughs> money's money. Money, money, money. Yeah. All right, so the rain got us. The rain came and the yard sales ended. So I think we got finished today probably a little after 10 in the morning because once it started raining, it didn't stop for a few hours and everybody just packed it up. So here are 
some of the things that I picked up today. I'll start with this. This was two dollars for all these pieces. Lots of let's see, one, two, three, four. It's like seven pieces. This is this is one of those things that I don't know how it will do at auction, but it's two bucks. And I'll take it up there and give it a shot. I know I'll get my money back, but it's one of those things that could go for, you know, 10 or 12 bucks if the right two people uh, start bidding. So, two bucks on that. Found a guy with a bunch of baseball cards. <clears throat> this is 89 Donruss, and it was $5 for the box. And this is uh, 93 Upper Deck Series 1 five bucks i wish it was series two it would have been worth a whole lot more because i think Derek jeter's in series two found a guy with a a whole thing of records uh, johnny cash billy joel just a bunch a lot of some of his really obscure titles um some stuff is just there's a barbara streisand bunch of different stuff he had you know two dollars three dollars six dollars on some of these and he said one dollar for the whole stack so there's the stack so this goes to auction that'll probably bring uh, maybe ten bucks there's a couple of records in there that I'm going to look up on eBay because they just have really odd covers and sometimes those records that are you know, not mass produced and, you know, just kind of funky covers are worth something. So I'll look all of those up. I got three mugs. I bought this one first. This is the, uh, the marriage of the Prince of Wales <clears throat> and Lady uh, Diana. So this was a buck. So I bought this and then as we were leaving, she goes, hey, what about this one? This is uh, to commemorate the Silver Jubilee. So I bought this one. And then I was walking away again. She goes, hey, well, what about this one? It's like, I don't know. And uh, anyway, she gave this one to me. So got those. Got $2 invested in those. I have not looked these up on eBay yet. So I'll do that first and then decide where I'm going to sell those at mastermind game i've sold one of these before 1978 i think that's what that says it's got all the pieces it may be missing some i'll have to look that's definitely auction i've looked this one up before that's not an ebay item there was a lot of uh, unsolds on there so i'll take that up there got that for a quarter bought uh the peanuts pez four pez dispensers new in the box uh, eBay comps were uh, not that good. This was a buck. It goes to auction also. It also got the 64 ounce big old flask. Stainless steel. This is a dollar. Probably auction. Have not looked this one up on eBay yet. So I will check that out. I got two brass unicorn music boxes did look these up on ebay there was a couple of solds in the seven eight nine dollar range but it's not worth that so i have 50 cents and 50 cents so a buck invested in these those will go to auction that's one of those things <clears throat> that is just odd i like taking stuff like this to my auction because you just never know what somebody will pay for something like that because you don't see stuff like that all the time also got this for free at the same place I got the uh, mugs. It's uh, I picked it up. She goes, you can just have that. Nobody's going to buy that. So service and repair instructions, Briggs and Stratton, four cycle engine. There is solds for $10 to $12 on there for, the, for ones that look really good. It may take a little bit to sell, but I'll stick it out there and uh, let it ride. Some of them that didn't sell, they were asking, you know, four or five bucks, but it looked like they had been used in the shop for years and they were really rough. I got a Lego, hold on, glare. Lego Architecture Eiffel Tower, 
21019. I picked this up for 10 bucks. It's sealed. And the solds were, I think they were on the $40 range, 40 to 45. I think I saw some. Uh, another Lego, they had that for a buck. So, anyway, I have not looked this one up yet. But for a dollar, Lego, especially got the big tires and everything, all the tires, looks like it's all there. So, I'll look that up. But for a dollar, you just grab it and go. You don't even have to look that up. Got this for a quarter, uh, Zubles. It was new in the package. Did not look it up. Maybe auction. I'm not sure yet, but more than likely. Uh, Midland Radio. Got this for $2. Uh, have not looked this one up yet. But, like I say, it's either eBay or auction. I picked up this tote of Lego. And some of it is not Lego. It's like knockoff. This is like knockoff. And the black thing right here, that does not say Lego on it. But the boat is Lego. I know this car is Lego. So there's a lot of Lego in here. Don't know if that's Lego or not. Yep, yeah, that's Lego. Yeah, if it's Lego on the little top right here, it will say Lego right on top of all the little bumps so you know it's Lego and like this big big block right here if I can get it in the light just right so there's nothing written on top of these so you know it is a knockoff set well see these have Lego on it the little pieces but the black flat piece right here is not so I'll go through and divide that out and <clears throat> two more things picked up this army camo uh, computer bag it looks brand new paid three dollars for this I have not looked it up yet to know where I'll sell it but it is it looks brand new and the winner for the day and I did not know it until I got home is this Apollo 11 medallion for your contribution to the United States space program. So on the back, it says that this uh, coin was made from metal from one of the uh, spacecraft that went into space. Living in Huntsville, Alabama, the, the rocket city, you know, we're known for uh, space exploration and NASA and everything here, rocket, you know, Werner von Braun was here and developed all the rockets that went into space. So anyway, we see stuff like this sometimes at yard sales and I pick it up now because I just looked this one up and it sells for over a hundred bucks. I paid a dollar from the same person that I bought two mugs, got a free mug, free mug, and a free book. So ended up spending two dollars, got two free things and then I paid a dollar for that so three dollars for everything at her place so that was my best pickup for the day I need to get that one listed don't I all right so that is it for today thanks for watching uh, hopefully I'll be putting more videos out better I've caught up at work some so now I just gotta start editing but uh, thanks for checking out the video uh, if you have any questions or comments, put it down below. And uh, thanks for watching. See you later.